let's rename some SOLIDWORKS files. In this case, let's rename this part that's used in the higher level assembly. Now, of course, let's take a look at what happens when we open up the assembly referencing that part. Well, since we renamed it, guess what? It can't find it. We could search for it or suppress it. Either way, we've got some work to do to repair the issue. Now let's take a look at that same scenario, this time with the data stored in SOLIDWORKS PDM. So in this case, we'll browse to SOLIDWORKS PDM, which is integrated right into Windows Explorer. We'll go into our projects and our project folder and open up that same assembly, again this time stored in SOLIDWORKS PDM. We don't yet have that spacer created, so let's go ahead and do that task. Since we're making a change to the file, we'll want to check it out. Because SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM is integrated into SOLIDWORKS, this makes it very easy. Now, of course, I could check out the same file from Windows Explorer. So in that checkout, we are presented with a dialog to check out any other files that we, that we may want to change. With that file checked out, let's go ahead and change it by adding a new part. Now with this new part, guess what? We're going to save it inside the vault. And for now, we'll save it with the default part name, part one, and save it to that same project directory. Spend a couple moments creating the geometry. And when we're done, we can go ahead and save it. And when we're ready to share it with the rest of the team, we'll check it in. Notice with the check-in dialog, we could keep it checked out if we want to retain ownership, but also checking in that top level assembly, we're also checking in our new part. This creates the new version in SOLIDWORKS PDM. At this point, let's go ahead and close it from SOLIDWORKS and take a look at our new part. Well, guess what? We now have a part number and we want to rename the file. Again, it's Windows Explorer. Let's rename it. I'll do it one better and move it to a different directory. And let's reopen that assembly. This time, however, there is no issue finding that new part. And if we take a look at the references, sure enough, it found it in the new directory. But what has this done to our bill of materials? Of course, in both cases, outside of PDM and inside SOLIDWORKS PDM, I can open up the SOLIDWORKS data including the drawing, to access the bill of materials. But with SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM, we have some additional functionality built right in. With the ability to preview files, we can also take a look at their bill of material. So I can see this new part that was added. I can even compare this to previous versions of the bill of material. And by comparing this to version one, I can see our new part that was added. And where is it? Well, it's not in this directory. So I can take a look at the contains of that file to access all the files that are referenced by this top level assembly. And if I need to browse to it, open it up, copy it, it's just a right click away. 
So clearly you can see how easy it is to rename files, move files around, and SOLIDWORKS PDM will update these references automatically for you.